Last month, human remains were discovered in Cerro Gordo County, but no identity. Today, the Mason City Police Department, along with other law enforcement agencies, continued that investigation and headed back to the scene. Our Alex Tejada went to Illinois Avenue by the Winnebago River to find out more. On March 11th, a resident of Mason City found human remains here at Murphy Park. The investigation is continuing today, but so far has turned up more questions than answers. The remains as we found them weren't um, neatly arranged or uh, really um, in a, a sensical fashion that they were able to be easily evaluated. And so it, I think it just took some time. And after sending the clothing and human bones to Ankeny for investigation, it was determined that those might not be the only clues. Through their process of evaluation and assessment investigation, uh, the medical examiner believes that there may be more uh, to recover at the scene. Today, investigators were backed by the banks of the Winnebago River. Normally, there's spring flooding here. However, this year it's non-existent, so it didn't hinder the investigation. We were, we were able to work where we wanted to today. And were able to collect more evidence that could bring the identity of the person to light. And then they're going to go back and finish putting their investigation together. Uh, we're working on figuring out some identification and collecting DNA out of the specimen, and then we'll hopefully match that up. Some are speculating the remains could be those of Jane Schreuer, a Mason City woman missing since 2019, or even missing television news anchor Jody Husentrup, who was last seen 25 years ago from her apartment, only a mile and a half away from the scene. But neither findjody.com nor the Mason City Police Department are making any assumptions. We don't have any comment about that at the moment. Obviously, we want to get a complete picture of this before we uh, make any conclusions that, that would maybe be wrong. Mason City Police Chief says there'll be more answers when the DNA comes back in a few weeks. Reporting in Mason City, Alex Tejada, KTDC News. At Minnesota